Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my sailboat restoration. Last week I glued in the, uh, the fiberglass floor back on top of the foam and started laying up the fairing compound. Now this week I'm going to finish the fairing on that, get that sanded, smoothed out, and then uh, start uh, fiberglassing in the, uh, the benches or settees, get that all done, and uh, see if I can get this finished. So let's get started. All right, I just wanted to uh, show you guys. I finally got uh, my friend's Ranger 22 here on the trailer. There it is, Mr. Earl Gray. It's quite a hassle, but it's on the uh, on the trailer, and that will be the next next project. As soon as I'm finished with the San Juan 22, I'll start on this one. Last week when I left off, I ran out of fairing compound. Well, uh, I've got some more and I'm gonna start uh, sanding this with uh, 80 grit and a palm sander. And then I'll go over it with uh, some more uh, fairing compound, probably uh, two or three more times. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna get started sanding this and uh, see how it goes. All right, I've got it sanded, so I'm fixing to uh, wipe it down with mineral spirits and uh, put the second layer of fairing compound on. So I've returned and sanded this uh, the second coat of fairing back with the palm sander and now I'm going to go over it with a, uh, a round board and some uh, it's a roll of uh, Duragold sandpaper. I'm using 220 here. What I'm going to do is spray some guide coat, black guide coat over it and uh, go, then go over it with the round board, a round long board and see if I can find the highs and lows. All right, you can see I've sanded after I put the um, guide coat down and you can clearly see the dark areas uh, like here and uh, everywhere just about. Those are the uneven areas. Um, you can see them just about everywhere. Uh, so what I'll do is go over it one more time and try to get those areas to float, uh, to fill in those areas, and then um, 
do this one more time and maybe at that point it'll be closer to a smooth surface. So I've got it sanded and you see there's only a few spots that need to be uh, built up. Just a few spots here so I don't know there's probably 15 little spots so I'm going to uh, I'm going to cover those and uh, let it dry and sand it again. All right, so I've started uh, putting in some of the uh, the benches or settees back in. Um, I've got a little bit of sanding left to do here, but there's a few spots I need to sand here, here, and uh, some over here. But um, I went ahead and started placing the settees in place. Um, you can see I. What I did is I sanded it all the way around and um, and then put them in place and I just got some of these tabbed. Uh, I just tabbed that, the center piece in place and then on this I just got it tabbed over here on this corner. Uh, so as soon as that dries here in this corner then I can uh, adjust and set the rest of it up and glue it. Or uh, what I'll do is I'll put tape on the back side of it and fill the crack in with thickened epoxy. And then I will uh, fiberglass over the seam uh, just like I did here. I've got, I've got this uh, fiberglass, two layers of fiberglass and then chop strap mat over that. I uh, went ahead and put that one in place uh, and then I will then I'll line it all up here and uh, fill in all these spots and put all this back in place um, it's gonna take some time to get it all but um, it takes some time to get it all put back but you can see it should go back pretty easy without any trouble. Well, all right, I've got the uh, settees set in place here and got them tabbed in uh, just in a few corners to kind of just hold them in place. Uh, and also, I've got a little bit more sanding to do on the floor, but I'm pretty much uh, done and ready for a uh, non-skid on the floor area. Of course, I've got some work to do around the kill, but um, Take a look here. You can see on the floor, looks pretty good. Uh, it's dirty right now, but um, I've got it pretty smooth. I've got to sand some areas. Um, I'm going to sand a few more areas to get it uh, exactly like I want it, but it's really smooth. And um, you can see with the, the benches, I've just got them tabbed in, and I just did this a few minutes ago, uh, so it's a little wet. But um, I've got them uh, tabbed in at a couple of corners and then held in place. Uh, I've got a piece in the back, hold that in there, or a strip of fiberglass in the back. And then I've got it tabbed right here and down here. That's just to hold it all into place and then I will uh, come back and, and finish it up. 
once those dry it's just too hard to move around so I had to get a corner stationary and then I can move it and I'll put backing on it and fill in these cracks with with uh, thickened epoxy uh, and of course I've got to finish the floor but it's pretty much done I just got a little bit of uh, um, sanding to do to get that smooth enough and then um, finish around the keel there so that's pretty much all I'm going to do for now I'm going to leave it like this and um, start working on the top sides get that painted uh, sanded primed and painted and uh, before it gets too hot and then then I'll come back and finish the interior so anyway that's all the time I have for this week I will um, like I said next week I'm going to start on the top sides and then I'll come back to this after I finish painting the hull. See you next week.